Hey everybody, this is Oasis. I recently got a Marshmallow update on my OnePlus 2, so let's have a look at the new features we got with this update. Let me show you the version of Oxygen OS and Android. So I'm gonna go to my setting about phone, and then here you can see that I've got Oxygen OS version 3.0.2 and Android 601 Marshmallow. <music> Let's have a look at the lock screen. We got voiceover search instead of phone at the lower left corner. Fingerprint scanner got updated as well and I realized it is now faster than before and more accurate. We got an update for changing wallpaper so if I go to my wallpaper setting you can see now we can quickly switch between lock screen and homepage wallpaper and down we got wallpaper to select from and I think it's a nice update. We have an option for rearranging our apps icons. If you hold down and then just move, you can organize your pages. We have another option called clear. If you tap on that, what it's gonna do, it's gonna clear all the apps from that page. You got an undo button if you press that accidentally to bring your apps back. Camera app got updated as well. It takes pictures much faster and we have UI changes. You can quickly switch between different aspect ratios. Tap on this clock icon which lets you set delay timer for pictures and you can tap to turn off and on grid. On the top left we got HDI button, you can turn it on and off by just tapping there. We got HD button, you've got your flash there, you can just quickly turn it on and off. And then if you tap there, you can switch between different modes such as photos, videos, manual. You can switch between modes by swapping your finger from top to bottom and bottom to top as well. If you tap and hold the home button, it does not take you to Google Now anymore. Instead, it gives you information about your recent activities on your phone. You can tap to screenshot and tap that G button to access the Google Now. Cut copy paste got an update as well. Tap and hold to select the word. If you take that arrow to the right, it jumps word by word, and when moving it back, it jumps to each alphabet. You got your share option there. Tap to select it all, and then if you have installed Google Translator app, you can translate the word right there as well. There is one hidden feature I want to show you is System UI Tuner. You can access that by holding setting button for 3 seconds and let it go. You will see pop up message saying system UI tuner has been enabled. Now go to the setting below and you have system UI option. You will see a pop up message which basically saying this option is not for everyone. In system UI tuner you have 3 options, status bar, show embedded battery percentage and demo mode. You can turn on and off show embedded battery percentage. I'm gonna go to status bar. Here you can turn on and off these options. I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi will disappear from the status bar. Go to settings and tap on alert slider. We have ability to customize alert slider now. You can customize silent mode, priority mode and all notification mode. My favorite update is for apps. Now you can enable and disable services for apps. Tap on apps, you will see all the apps installed in your phone. I'm gonna tap on Chrome. These are the settings available for Chrome. I'm gonna tap on permissions. And there I can disable or enable location. I can enable or disable microphone, camera, contacts and storage. I'm gonna go back now. And here you can see notification, data usage, storage used by Chrome. So this is one of the best update we get on OnePlus 2. The biggest thing in Marshmallow is intelligent battery management feature that recognizes when your device is not in use. The battery savings are phenomenal. Marshmallow can take down 3-5% of battery consumption overnightly. Take your standby time to nearly 2 weeks in the process. 
the RAM usage has typically been reserved for Android geeks rather than regular users. In this section you can view memory used by systems and individual apps over different time frames which should hopefully make more people familiar with what is normal behavior of your device. Direct share is a new feature, it doesn't work everywhere yet, but the idea is that when you hit the share picker, instead of just seeing a list of apps, you will see some contacts at the top as well. Theoretically, you can instantly share that content with that person. Alright guys, thanks for watching, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, and for more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.